Hello and welcome back to the I Heat You channel. Today we're doing a review of the Worcester 2000. If you're looking for a clean, compact, reliable boiler, this could be the one for you. The Worcester 2000 in the combi version comes in two different kilowatt versions. You've got a 25 kilowatt version with a flow rate of 10 liters per minute and a 30 kilowatt version with a flow rate of 12. This is pretty standard for this price range of boiler. However, the Worcester 2000 is more targeted towards small to medium sized homes, anything around you know the three bedroom mark with only like one bathroom or so. If you've got any more than one bathroom with multiple baths and showers, it may be worthwhile looking at the 4,000 and upwards. As mentioned, this is a super compact boiler and could easily fit in a variety of kitchen cupboards across a home. You've got a height of 724 millimeters, a width of 400 millimeters and a depth of 300. But before you go running off measuring all your cupboards, you need certain installation clearances and areas to fit the boiler in. For example, the height goes all the way up to 1,094. This allows space for the top flue and for pipes to run underneath and for access for our engineers. You also need a width of 410, and this is to allow five mil either side to allow a bit of breathing space. And then the depth goes up to 900 to allow 600 mil of space for the cupboard to be able to come off the tray to come down and for an engineer to operate in front of the boiler and get to where he needs to be. This is great for servicing and maintaining in the future. So if you're getting a brand new kitchen fitted, don't put your boiler cupboard 20 millimeters away from another opposing cupboard. We need these spaces for it to fit. Let's start listing off the features. You've got an aluminium silicon heat exchanger, which is the same as the 4,000 and 8,000, but for the nice low price, in the 2000. This boiler is hydrogen ready at a blend of 20%, meaning if hydrogen comes into play over the next few years, you're more than ready for it. You get a push button LED backlit display and an analog pressure gauge. This is great for seeing your pressure at a glance when just walking through your kitchen. You get a top flue, LPG compatibility, and very good efficiency ratings. As it is a Worcester boiler, they all speak a certain language, which is why it is best to get an easy control from Worcester with this boiler. It allows for more complex language to be used instead of the simple on and off, which Google, Nest, and Hives come with. Through iHeat, you get a 10 year warranty as standard. This is a parts and labor warranty, meaning if anything goes wrong inside the boiler, you're more than covered for it. Let's take a look inside. There she is. So here we have your easy to control display. It's a push button LED backlit display, which also shows easy to understand commands to know how to fix the boiler, stop at your pressure or tell an engineer over the phone how to do their job, which they might not like. Popping that down, you've got access to your pump on the right, your condensate, your plate heat exchanger, your aluminium silicon heat exchanger over here, your fan up the top and your snorkeler slash silencer. Your vessel over here on the left and then your top flue all the way up here. On the 2000, you also get the analog pressure gauge, which is handy for the, both the engineer and the customer so they can see at a glance what their pressure's at. And on the inside cover, there is a bit of padding and this just adds to the quiet mark accreditation that this boiler has. The 2000 and the 4000 both have the quiet mark accreditation, which just means it operates at a low decibels. There we go then, that has been the review of the Worcester 2000. Head to iheat.co.uk to get an instant quote for your next day boiler. I'd highly recommend this one. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. This has been iHeat.